Hey, uh, how's it going, everyone? Um, <laughs> I'm sorry for this video format, uh, but uh, my tics have been acting up pretty bad this evening and laying on the floor and at least having this blanket to kind of touch to my face uh, is enough for me to, like, not be, like, unmanageable or, like, you know, be able to talk about, talk about what I want to talk about. Um, but yeah, I wasn't sure if I wanted to make a video today or not, but today's just been such an amazing day. Uh, it's been phenomenal. It's been very interesting, too. Um, it, and it's been, like, just great. It's just been awesome uh, in every way possible. Um, I did meet with a few of my peers today, uh, or my recoveries, um, so to speak. Um, you know, because I'm doing the recovery coach coaching. And uh, it was super cool this morning. Uh one of my recoveries had put in a lot of work. Uh, and that's not to diminish um, my other... I, I'm going to just say peers because I don't... I, it's just recoveries. It just sounds weird. Um, but, I, you know, I, I was so impressed. But, you know, I've seen growth in all of the peers I've been working with so far, which is one of the reasons why I've really been loving doing the recovery coaching um but the one i had this morning um you he had done like a lot of homework essentially um and what's cool is i didn't ask him to do the homework um he just did it on his own you know to like better his life um and uh because the other week we had talked about kind of setting goals uh particularly SMART goals. Um, SMART is an acronym for a specific, measurable, achievable, <laughs> uh, relevant, uh, or something like that. And then the T is time-based. So, um, you know, it's a good way to set goals. Uh, actually, I probably will make a video on that sometime soon. Because um, I think it's very powerful. But... I'm not going to get into that. Um, but we had talked about that. And um, he, he went and did it. And and uh, he went and made short-term goals. He made the intermediate-term goals and long-term goals. Uh, and, and just, like, he was so pumped up. Like, he was so excited to, like, be using those. Like, it's just so cool to see some, somebody, like, like, empower somebody and see them be able to, you know, learn uh, new tools or a way of looking at things and uh, be able to enrich their uh, enrich their lives. Um, I should have mentioned it before or at the start of this video. I'm not going to redo. But uh, I'm sorry for the voice, too. I've, I've been... Um, today, I'm a lot better, but... Uh, I've been dealing with some sickness. Um, we have other guys at the house that got sick too. I was hoping I wasn't getting sick. Because sometimes I, I get like feverish and achy if I'm tired. But no, it turned out to be sickness. <laughs> so I can't speak very well. Uh, but it's better today. And yeah, like I said, I'm sorry for the video format um but this is the best way for me to make this video and I, and I just i don't know i just want to like talk even if it's like talking to myself uh recapping today it, it i don't know I, I i'm just super stoked um that was so awesome um to see that happen and um then i was able to i did all of my chores, I, I do the chores for a few of the housemates because they pay me, uh, which I'm super thankful for. Um, normally, our chore day is Monday, uh, but today is Tuesday. Uh, so I didn't do them yesterday because I wasn't feeling as good as I am today. So I got all those done, uh, which is nice. Uh, and then I, um, it, it's unfortunate I haven't been able to been able to work out since uh last thursday last thursday was my last workout so i'm coming up on almost uh seven days a full week of not exercising but i've still been walking and stuff like that um 
but yeah, did all, all the chores, met with another, uh, another one of my peers, and, uh, kind of the same thing with them, uh, last week they were having a pretty challenging week with a lot of stuff going on, and kind of discussed ways of, of, of kind of processing that, going through that, and, and, you know, making a plan, and working that out with, uh, steps and goals, um, in kind of a loosely similar way with my up here earlier, um, and, uh, he, it seemed like he was doing pretty well this week, too, um, and, uh, you know, like, putting that to use, um, to dissect, you know, it, with him, and, like, I've experienced this before, sometimes you just have so much stuff going on, and it's so overwhelming that, like, you can't even comprehend it, or you can't even, like, think about it, it's just this massive thing that's, but, you know, if you dissect it, cut it up into pieces, and make those pieces smaller, you know, you can do, take care of each of those pieces one at a time, um, which makes it a whole lot easier, <laughs> um, so, um, it's just so cool, um, Again, it, and I, and I'm really appreciative, or, or or my perspective is not like, oh man, I'm a good person, like, or I'm such a good coach. Um, I mean, of course, I, those thoughts are going to happen. I have had those thoughts, but that's not my primary reason for being excited. It's just so cool that two people were able to take something away from you know, the previous session or previous few sessions and make positive changes in their life. And not only that, but to like be excited uh, about it to some degree. The second peer, I wouldn't say he's like stoked, but um, he seemed uh, a lot, you know, less down or a lot less stressed than last week. Um so it's so cool to just see that, you know, um, because I've, what's nice is like, I've, I've been in similar situations to what they're in, they've been going through. Um, so it's nice. It's almost like as if I could go back in time, um, and talk to myself or tell myself all of these different ways of looking at life and all these coping mechanisms, uh, you know, cause I'm sure some of you, well, if probably a lot of people have thought about um, going back in time and redoing things in their life or telling themselves, hey, like, don't do drugs. <laughs> it's not a good path. Um, you know, those thoughts. Of course, I'm not going back in time and telling my previous self those and changing my life, but it's cool because, like, I feel like working as a recovery coach with these peers, I'm kind of imparting at least something for them um, to to grow because I know how difficult and how challenging, um, you know, it it is to be in um, to be in those situations when it's just you're so depressed or you're so overwhelmed. Uh, and it, it just, life gets so hard that you just, you know, for me at least, just the only thought is to end your life. And, you know, fortunately, I don't know if that's what either of those peers are at. I wouldn't say they're at that point, but either way, it's just cool to <clears throat> work with them and, uh, help them in their paths of, of recovery, um, and working on getting, a, you know, living a more positive, a more healthy life, um, so that's super awesome, <laughs> that's so cool, I, like, I love it so much, <sighs> and then after that, um, I ended up going to, I did, like, a big grocery haul, like, there's a bunch of stores I wanted to hit up, um, I wanted to 
go to the grocery outlet because they have like some cheap um, beverages and then they also have cheap soap um, like two bars for 99 cents uh, so I took advantage of that for sure and then it's nice the 7-Eleven is pretty close by and 7-Eleven is the oh I just spilled my water Ugh. Okay, I'll deal with that later. Unfortunately, this carpet, like, if anything spills on it, I swear to God, like, there's not enough towels on this earth to be able to soak uh, it up. <laughs> it's such a pain in the butt. Um, but anyways, I, what I was reaching for was a 7-Eleven. Uh, I know... You know, nicotine's not good for you either. Um, but it's like, if I can have one vice, it's like, you know, not too bad. Um, but they uh, they sell it. I, I can get the cheapest can. Um, or the, like, I guess the, the best price per unit. Because they have a buy one, get one free. And uh, which is like four something. So it works its way out to be like a little over $2 for um, a thing of 20 pouches, which is nice because I can use them. Um, I wouldn't say sparingly, but I can use them to, in good efficacy or like usefulness. So that $2 like really spreads itself out over the course of days. <laughs> so um, because I was running low, I was able to get those. And then I went down to Walmart because um, one of the Walmarts have been having, like, some seriously good clearance. Um, oh, um, before I talk about that, um, on my way, so I got off one of the buses here and was walking to hop on the other bus, another bus, you know, different, like, line or routes uh, to get to the grocery outlet and get to 7-Eleven, and um, I ran into one of the uh, old housemates that I used to share the bedroom with. He's a cool dude. Um, you know, we were actually impatient a little bit uh, together. Uh, I'm Yeah, I graduated before he did, or, uh, you know, moved out of impatient before he did. But yeah, I met up with him and like talked, uh, which was cool. Um, I'm helping him with some uh, educationals uh, material, some education material, and uh, he's uh, paying me for it, which is nice. It's it's nice to have all these like kind of small jobs to help supplement the recovery coach income, and uh, that way I can pay for rent. Um, but it was cool, you know, I saw him, like, that, that was just an interesting coincidence, so I'm help, I'm gonna be helping him with that, um, but then, okay, so, <laughs> then after the, um, grocery outlet and 7-Eleven, went to Walmart, because they've been having some really good clearance, um, deals, um, well, I'm not gonna reach for that, but, um, they have this four pack of, like, sparkling juice, which is super tasty, um, the two other flavors that they have, they ran out of, but they were a dollar. This was like a dollar seventy uh, for the four pack. Um, and then on Ibotta, I got a dollar twenty five cash back for each four pack uh, limit of five. So when they had the cheaper ones and I bought the hell out of those, I earned money. I made a profit just by buying that. <laughs> <laughs> um, that thing, so, uh, but they didn't have it, but these, this is still a really good deal, essentially, like, 50 cents for a four pack of sparkling juices that, like, cost, like, four or five bucks, um, so I got that, and then, on the way back, I wanted to hit up Safeway because they had some, like, well, I keep forgetting, at Walmart, it was, it, this was probably, like, the craziest part of my day. 
I don't know if it is who I thought, but in the self-checkout line, I swear that I saw somebody who I've dated dated briefly. <clears throat> Evan just had a friendship with, you know, before and after that relationship. Um where I just broke her heart and just caused so much pain to her. Um many, many times. Um uh yeah, I can't even I I'm not gonna get into that because I, I, I don't think I'd even be able to explain or uh share the the hurt I caused her. Um but I don't know if it was her. I mean she was she looked good, like she looked um one of the things that I was, you know really harsh on was um her body um she was overweight um and you know it, even like at the end it was coming from like at the time my perspective was telling her like hey yeah you know losing weight would be great um not just for you know uh you and I but like just in general and like after we broke up like hey well you know that would help you with dating guys but uh, it was just like stabbing her uh a thousand times with daggers every time that was brought up um so uh but she was she looked like she had lost a substantial amount of weight and she looked really good and looked happy but i don't know if it was her the, her, the face looked uh, like was very reminiscent of her um i didn't say anything because i even if it was her, I'm not going to be like, oh, hey, it's good to see you after, like, fucking, oh, ah, ah, breaking your heart. I'm trying not to curse. <clears throat> and just going psycho mode with the uh, nitrous oxide and becoming all manic. So, but, yeah, so that person checked out. I checked out separately, and I uh, rushed to get to the bus. Um... So there's that little tidbit. <laughs> and then on the way back, I hit up Safeway because they had some really uh, sweet deals going on. And um, so I got like a bunch of... Um, I got uh, a, a few good things. Now, which I ate tonight. These uh, Deli wet Witches by uh, Hot Pocket. I'm pretty sure it's Hot Pocket, yeah. Um, are, like, really simple, but really, they're pretty good. Like, maybe I was just super hungry, but, um, I enjoyed the simplicity of just bread, ham, and cheese. <laughs> but, um, the only reason why I bought it is because, um, Safeway had a coupon for it, uh, on their app, and then I bought it, had cash back, so I got... Normally, this, well, it was six forty nine, and I've seen it higher at some stores. Um, so, uh, $2 off from Safeway, so it was four forty nine, and then $2 cash back from Ibotta. So, it's like for two forty for something that was, um, you know, $7, that's pretty solid. Um, and then I did buy some, I'm not going to get up and get it, but um, the Cheerios um, Berry Oat Crunch uh, cereal, so good, so freaking good, because, uh, they had it on sale, and, uh, they had a manufacturer coupon, too, so, got that, and then, I stocked up on these puppies, uh, maybe I'll, I'll make a video tomorrow, because <laughs> I probably should be getting to bed soon, but, um, these Power Crunch, um, protein bars are so good, they're so good, um, uh, I'll, so maybe tomorrow or the next day, I'll I'll show off my stash of stuff that I got. Um, I don't know if anyone anyone's interested in <laughs> in watching that, but you know, I guess if there are people, um, that will be available. Well, that's my goal for tomorrow. Um, and then what was I gonna say? Oh, and also like, I've like half considered it, like mostly like as, like, a joke or, like, ironic 
uh, kind of like with the, the YouTube shorts that I posted um, recently with the nutrition. It's like, I hope everyone like knows that I'm kidding, like with those fruit snacks, that it's just like processed sugar. <laughs> it's, that does not constitute um, a, a serving of fruit. Um, nor does uh, the bell pep um, jalapeno peppers in uh, sliced cheese uh, account for veg vegetables um, on my uh, burger. So, um, but uh, yeah, how jokingly thought about like doing like a, a taste review or a food review um, on these. Actually, you know what? Now that I think about it, I don't know if there are any for. Oh, that'd be interesting to, to, to pursue. Uh, see if anyone wants to watch me rate protein bars <laughs> or just food in general. But um, again, I say that half jokingly. I don't know if I will end up doing that, but I do want to at least uh, show off the stash, all the uh, goodies. Um, but yeah, I then came home. Evan uh, took a shower, ate those deli witch things from Hot Pocket, uh, and I, I'm just, uh, I'm just on cloud nine, I mean, I'm just so incredibly grateful <laughs> for not just today, but, like, my life, uh, as it is today, you know, uh, I mean, three years ago, um, no, this is starting to get to be the point where I, I couldn't, I couldn't walk. I couldn't walk at all. I couldn't, I was just surrounded in my own prison. Uh, metal cartridges. <laughs> just depression. Um, um so I'm so thankful. I'm so thankful for what I have right now. And again, to tie, tie it to, to what I was starting with, I'm so thankful I can use, I can be in a position to help people in their recovery, their journey of of build a better healthy life and if it helps me like ultimately it helps me like that's the the best part of it I suppose it's selfish you know by helping others I help myself <laughs> but I'm I guess the key thing is I'm helping others in a healthy way um you know, I'm not being like a martyr or putting myself first, you know, with the airlines. I'm not putting the uh, air mask on the per person next to me first. I'm, put I'm putting it on myself so that way I can remain conscious by breathing it in the air. And then I can help people around me after. Yeah, It's like, wow, what a concept. Um, <laughs> so I'm glad I'm just in this position. I'm just very grateful for everything. And the fact that I have a house to live in, I have food, I'm in good health. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I it just, I don't know. It, uh, there's just so many things for me to be grateful for. And I'm so glad I have them. Okay, and you know what? I'm probably going to end the video here. Um, hopefully this format didn't detract from my line of thought. Um, I really appreciate you guys for watching. If you watched to this point. Um, yeah, I, I really appreciate that. Uh, and I'll see you guys next time, okay?